Hello everyone, this is Herb from Aussie Bogan Tech. We're doing the BIOS update 0902. It has updates to the Agus system, which is AMD generic uh, encapsulated software architecture. It's basically just some uh, bootstrap protocol. Helps to initialize um, CPU core memories and hyper transport controller. Basically, it just gets everything going. Yeah, it's the bootstrap for the BIOS. So let's see what happens when we install it. Eh? Go advanced. Then we go to tools. Then we go Asus Easy Flash via storage device because I've already downloaded it from the appropriate website. There'll be a link in the description below. And just press next. Here we go. Yep, read the file. Okay, it's frozen, which is a bit of a problem. Okay, yep. No, here we go. Had me all worried there for a second. Tap some wood, cross our fingers, hoping everything's okay. Okay. okay, BIOS version 0902 is up and running, and we're running at stock speeds, let's just save and exit, I'll leave it stock for a few seconds. Yeah, oh, this is interesting, I've left it completely stock after updating to the BIOS um, what was it, 0902 and according to CPU-Z even though we're only at a peak of 3.7 GHz the temp's quite low voltage is jumping all around the place it's going from 1.47, 1.48 which is quite high even when I'm overclocking, it wasn't going up that high, I don't think. Well, it seems incredibly high for 3.7 gigahertz to me, anyway. Let's just give it a, a stress test, see what happens. Okay. That's bizarre. Stress it. And it's sitting at 1.3, 1.2. Put it under load, and the voltage goes down. Maybe it's just a glitch in CPU Z. See, take the light off 1.47, 1.406, 1.36. Interesting. I'll have to look into it a little bit more. Stress. I was at 1.5 then. 1.29, 1.3. core voltage seems to be going up according to CPU Z. When it's not under load. I think straight up to 1.45. Yeah, 0.7. Okay. That is strange. Well, let's see what happens when I have a call. Yep, you just uh, go to the DOCP overclock, to overclock, change your memory to the right one, keep your custom CPU core ratio to auto, put your CPU core ratio you went in. When we were successful at four was 3.95. Uh, make sure this uh, power saving mode is disabled. And then DigiVRM 
we had this on level 3 we had this at 130% we had that on auto standard optimized level 3 line calibration 130% Optimize, 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 level 3, level 3, 130% of the way. The RN spread spectrum is off. Then. Offset mode. Zero point. Zero three one something something. Let's see what happens. Uh, it wasn't that one. Um, zero. Um, yeah, there we go. Oh, there's a long way to use it. Save and exit. Now I'm just going to go back into BIOS straight away just to have a look and see how that set. Okay, we have 3.95 gigahertz. We have the memory overclock. We have the right fan speeds. Let's have a little look and see what the SOC did. Uh, yeah, I thought so. SOC voltage went up to 1.1. Yep, they're all at the right settings. So everything here now is the same it was when I was able to get a nice stable overclock before. So let's save and see what happens. How's it going, everyone? Yep. Um, so BIOS. 902 for the Asus Prime X370 motherboard seems quite stable I've been having it running here now 45 minutes on an OCCT stress test 71 degrees no crashes I'm running at the same gigahertz and same spec as I was with the previous BIOS um, I have noticed though that the V-Core is running ever so slightly higher it's uh, 0 0.02 to 0 0.03 volts higher than it was on the previous BIOS so be aware of that with your overclocks that for some unknown reason it seems to be running if you have all the exact same settings ever so slightly higher what it did on my rig anyway but it seems stable and well that's that it's the the new new bios for the x370 board um main changes was to the um i think it was how it's argus system which is the amd generic encapsulated software architecture basically their bootstrap program that helps initialize cpu cores and memory hyper transport controller that was a cpu core memory and uh, hyper transport controller which is yeah basically it's the bootstrap protocol okay I've been running the new BIOS now for a little bit the 902 BIOS for the Asus Prime X370 and I've just run a 47 minute nearly 48 minute stress test with OCCT seems quite stable does seem to be running ever so slightly higher V core than it did before on exactly the same settings. So, um, like about what, 0, 0 
0.2 or 0.03 volts higher than it was before. So be aware of that, that it does seem to be riding higher on the V core for some reason. But so far, I have the same overclock and it's just as stable as it was on the previous BIOS. This is Aussie Bogan Tech signing out. Please like and subscribe. Have a nice day.